Good day, good people. My name is Kama Sekwele and I'm an online math tutor here to help young children turn their struggles into their successes. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the key math concepts that every fifth grader needs to know. This video is for parents who have children that are either heading into the fifth grade or children that are in the fifth grade but struggling with mathematics. I will be sharing with you what are the key concepts your child needs to focus on in order to excel in this grade. Let's get into it. The third key concept that your child needs to focus on in the fifth grade is the concept behind place values. Why are the concepts behind place values so important? There are a couple of reasons. The first that I'll be discussing with you today is that place values form a part of the foundation of understanding numbers. So simply put, if your child doesn't understand place values, they in essence do not understand what a number is. Another reason why place values is so important is because at this stage, your child is going to start using tools to help them calculate and solve math problems. The key to understanding how these tools work lies in place values. If your child doesn't understand place values, they won't understand how these tools work. And it is important for them to understand why they're doing what they're doing in order for them to improve their skill in mathematics. I talk a lot about this in another video, which is entitled The Three Ways Your Child Can Improve Their Math Skills. You can go ahead and check it out. I will link it down in the description and in the end cards. But the point is place values is crucial. I mean, they may even struggle to do things like adding and subtracting on paper. Yes, they may be able to count with their fingers and in their head, but when it comes to doing it on paper practically they may struggle simply because they don't understand the concept behind place values so it is extremely crucial for your child to know and understand this concept now we will move on to the second key concept that your child needs to focus on which is the concept behind multiplication now this one may sound very much like your child does not need to spend much time on it because they know how to multiply numbers together so they don't need to learn much about this that is false there is a difference between someone knowing how to multiply numbers together because they know the rules of multiplication versus someone who knows how to multiply numbers together because they understand multiplication. It's similar to cooking. A person may know how to put a meal together by following step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so. However, if you took those instructions away, they may struggle because they don't understand how the different ingredients work. Or they don't understand how the different spices taste, which combination would make the best taste because they lack understanding when it comes to cooking. Multiplication is the same. They need to grow in their understanding of multiplication and they need to understand what it actually means to multiply. So it's bigger than the how and it's more the why of multiplication. That's what they need to focus on. But why does it matter that they focus on this key concept? Again, similar to place values, multiplication forms a part of the foundation of mathematics. So if they struggle to understand multiplication, they are going to struggle with a very huge portion of mathematics, not just now, but in the future. A second reason is because understanding multiplication allows children to see the bigger picture in mathematics. This is a very necessary skill in math that many young people do not have. The ability to see the bigger picture, to see these underlying clues when given a math problem, they need that skill in order to do well. And understanding multiplication can help them to do that. It will help them to see things that the average child does not see. I know with me personally, my biggest obstacle in math was word problems. Yes, I was able to do all the calculations. I was able to solve the math problems and all the solve for X's and all of that. However, when it came to word problems, it was an issue because word problems test your ability to see math in real life situations. And it tests whether or not you understand mathematics. And the fact that I didn't do well in word problems shows that I didn't understand math and I couldn't see it in real life. All those issues got fixed when I worked to understand concepts such as multiplication, as well as the next one we're going to be discussing. It is important for your child to work to understand the concept, not just know the concept or the rules behind the concept. Once they do that, especially in regards to multiplication, they will then get that very important ability to see the big picture when it comes to math problems, to see it in real life and to understand it. Now let's move on to the number one math concept your fifth grader needs to focus on. The number one concept every single fifth grader needs to know and focus on is the concept behind division. If you do not remember anything that I tell you in this video, please remember this. Division can make or break your child's journey in mathematics. Just as with multiplication, it's not just about knowing how to divide numbers together. 
It's about understanding division and what it means to divide numbers. Many kids don't understand what division means, what it actually means to divide a number or to break a number up. They don't understand that concept. And that is problematic. That is a really big problem because division is a very crucial part in mathematics. Which brings us to the question, why is this concept so important? Again, division is a foundational concept in math. If you don't understand division, you don't understand a very large portion of mathematics. Division literally has its roots in almost every other branch in mathematics. For example, if your child struggles with division, they will most likely struggle with fractions, ratios, decimals, percentages. All of these areas are dependent on division. So if your child struggles with that one key concept, they'll struggle with everything else. Not just for grade five, but also for the upcoming years that they will be using mathematics. So division is important not just for the now, but also for grade six, seven, eight to 12. And I saw this when I was working way back when, when I was still working with um, high school math students. I noticed that some of the troubles that my students were having somehow always tied back to basic division, which is taught and focused on in fifth grade. So to help them, I needed to go back to fifth grade math help them understand basic division, and then we could work our way up. So it's, it's very key that your child focuses on division this year, not just for now, but also for the upcoming years. If your child can understand division and excel in it, they would have covered a very large portion of mathematics. And not just that, there are many benefits to working hard and understanding division that we can't go into right now because this video would be too long. But if your child is struggling in this area, ensure that they focus on it and they improve on it because it will have an impact on them for the upcoming years. Parents, that concludes our video for today. I genuinely hope that you gain some valuable information from this video. If you are in search of an online math tutor, my name is Gabo, as I mentioned before, and I help children develop their skills in these areas and a whole lot more. Be sure to go down to my website and schedule a free consultation with me. I cannot wait to meet you. If you would like to download this presentation that is featured in my video, you can go down to the description and find the link below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.